Let me talk to the doctor so that's what you learned. And if I'm just taking her to appointments and things like that, I was able to really learn more about things going on with my mother internally. They basically said that because she was drinking so much, um, it was starting to affect her, her head space and her brain. So I think they said it was alcohol and just dementia. Yeah. And she drinks and smokes eating e pens. And it just looks like, you know, we're heading down the same path of self-sabotage. You ready to go or are you good? You still eating? No, please. Don't, don't forget my wine. As long as she has people around who are yes people, the same thing is always going to occur where she would ultimately just find any excuse to be by herself so she can get back to drinking. Long, hard, and fast. I will smoke what I smoke, and I will liquor when I liquor. And I will eat what I eat. How dare him? How dare him? I control me. too much i don't know if she's gonna have like popcorn long later on in life or what but she is vaping a lot and drinking a lot that was one of the main things that they had a problem with trying to get rid of alcohol at least that's what um will made it seem like and she drinks and smokes e, e pens and it just looks like you know we're heading down the same path of self-sabotage you ready to go or are you good you still eating no please don't don't forget my wine you know one of the things i think her fans are concerned about is her health are you concerned at all about her mental health? In regards to Wendy's health, like, I'm not going to say that I'm concerned as if I'm worried about her. This is, um, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say about the documentary. Um, her sister came on, her dad came on, her brother came on. Um, do I feel like it was exploitation? Um, I don't know because I loved it so much and I wanted it so much and I anticipated it so much. I was waiting on something like this to drop. So, um, I don't know if I even look at it as exploitation because, um, all these famous people do it. Like I said, Lisa Left Eye Lopez recorded her own documentary. Wendy Williams basically essentially recorded this herself. Um, because as you've seen, executive produced by Wendy D. Williams, the first name and the first credit there ending and beginning of all four parts wendy williams so um although she sued them a couple of days before releasing it thinking that the judge would grant her stay order um they ended up dropping it because she didn't give a good enough reason and she signed a contract and the judge is automatically going to fulfill this contract if there is not a good enough reason for him to stop it unfortunately he closed out her case and without prejudice so she can file it again but the show must go on um so i don't know um this was a great documentary um she kept forgetting a lot of stuff she kept forgetting a lot of stuff too she forgot where she stayed her old house she told the the parking rangers guy i guess that's where he was you know i didn't stay here at wendy williams way i stayed around the block the lady was like hold the fuck up we did a whole ceremony right here you told us you stay in this house you sure you don't stay in this house I don't know. You tell me. I don't remember. I'm like, oh, my God. Poor Wendy. She even looked at her brother and said, Kevin, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, I am. I'm so glad you're here. There was a time where you came out and said that Wendy did not have dementia. You basically yeah. kept all that back saying that something's going on. I didn't believe she did. I wasn't aware of that. Hi, Dad. I'm not going to speak on anything that I don't see or that I don't know factually. Yeah. yeah. So, Kevin, I'm so glad you're here. Really? That was Tommy, not Kevin, Wendy. She called him Kevin. She even at one point said, they have to understand, they, NBC, they have to understand that the show cannot be here in Miami. It has to be in New York. And so they asked, Wendy, where are we right now? We're in California. Okay, okay, and the show can't be here. No, it cannot be, it has to be in New York City. And so maybe that was just a slip up or a mistake. But 
those type of things kept happening throughout the documentary where she was forgetting things she even said i don't know where i am right now this doesn't look familiar at some point she even had the driver drive past the wendy williams show sherry shepherd show she kept saying the wendy williams show slash sherry shepherd show and then i'm going to show you where the story is although that they were at the store the driver went a shortcut way where he didn't have to go up west 23rd street which is where the wendy williams sherry shepherd show sits at in manhattan he didn't have to go that way um he went a, he went a different way that was a shortcut that would have got them there without going through the traffic at the time that they were there and um wendy didn't think so because she recalled the way that they usually go and um i guess he was just trying to avoid going past the wendy show he didn't want to show that um and she kept yelling go past the wendy show and go to the store i will show you where it is he did that after he after she berated this this young lady um sean zanotti for getting the wrong uh vape pen tobacco vape pen just went in on this girl over and over and over again this is one she was going to right yeah yeah okay okay let's get the blue okay okay you know i about? wonder if you know, and I, I, oh. do you know Wendy Williams? She comes in here all the time. She told me you would know what she get. Yeah, I know. This is not the blue that I go to. And this person doesn't know the Wendy Williams show. Try this one. Is this one better? He said that's the other one. I said, give the, this isn't, okay. Look. That's it. Okay. Sean. Yes. Give the back all right. and let's go. Okay. Doesn't know about New York. Um, um, she had the driver drive around. He passes the Wendy show, comes back around, back to the same smoke shop, which is on the corner of the Wendy show. Here's the store. Here's the Wendy show. Here's the store. Here's the Wendy show. And when he did that, she still didn't feel like that was the right store. She still just felt like, what the fuck? This is not the blue that I go to. Why did it take so long? Well, he couldn't find the right one, and this is the only one he had. I hope this is the right one you need. First of all, you didn't go past the Wendy Williams show or the Chevy Shepherd show. We're gonna go past her now. Yeah. All right, that's where we need to go past. And this person doesn't know the Wendy Williams show. Uh, is that the correct one? That's all he said he had. He said that's what she usually get. What the is this? This is, open the I don't even know what the is. Okay, because if not, he told me to bring it right back in. Go past the Wendy Williams show. Go past the Sherry Shepherd show. Okay, that's the Wendy Williams show. Okay, stay right, stay right. This is the same, yeah, this is the one we were just at. Oh my God. Okay, driver, uh -huh. I said go past the Wendy Williams show. We, did that. we just did that. Do it again, <laughs> do it again. I'm not going to this place. Go, so, drive past the Wendy Williams show. Back. It's the third time we went. Excuse me, can you drive a little bit faster? And, and, you know, we won't get uh, stopped by the police. I'm famous. And I never go out. And everything that I have on is delicious. Go past the Sherry Shepherd show. This is on 26th Street. Give, me the Give it back, please. Give it back. And don't take more than two seconds. We go ahead, go ahead all the time. We just went here on Friday. But I can't wait to get to California. Excuse me? We go here all the time for the blues. Listen, listen. You're supposed to go past the Wendy Williams show. Okay, but make a right. This is where we get the blues from every time. No, no, excuse me. I do it because I don't want to argue with you. But as a driver, you're just a driver. <laughs> Try this one. Is this one better? He said that's the other one. I returned it because that's all they had in there. So go. Drive. We're not here. It's right here. The smoke shop right there. Same one. It's, we just passed it. Same one. Same one. Oh, okay. This is all too much. Wendy, these are the two. Is it this one or this one? These are all I have in there. That opened up both boxes. This is not blue. Or this one. Both of them, they said blue. That's just not... drive. I'm sorry, driver. Don't move yet, uh, please. Okay. So the people had to come, Lifetime had to come, producers, um, you know, breaking the fourth wall by showing their sales, showing their paperwork, showing all of their equipment, and just like, you know, basically telling Wendy, we have to go, we have to wrap up for today. This is, um, this is it for today. We have to come back and see you tomorrow. Um, we will order you, we will order you some. She kept trying to tell her, and Wendy kept over talking to the lady. They were going to order Wendy some blue vape pens 
they were going to order it for wendy and she kept over talking them and not hearing the producer say it she kept trying to explain to her that she was going to order them um but wendy kept forgetting things so does wendy have dementia we don't technically know uh we only know by kevin's mouth and what kevin says um he knows but wendy does have a drinking problem wendy does have a cognitive issue where she's forgetting things where she's saying the wrong thing and this shit started back on the show she used to say ah 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 started putting the wig up here the notes up here because she was forgetting so much shit um and so i don't think it was just because of kevin's situation i think it um got worse because of that but whatever was going on at home wendy does a good job at wrapping up her life she has always wrapped up her life with a bow very well even if it's a mess behind this wrapping paper she always made it look so pretty and like nothing was going on in her life and they did a really good job doing that even down to the snorting coke she explained that recently you know one of her latest episodes that she was getting high on the show on the wendy williams show um as far as what uh, some years ago she said i forgot how many years ago she said but she she had i think if she does have dementia coke crack alcohol ass beatings um and curses is what i feel like caused it even her feet those monsters of a thing but i feel so horrible for wendy this is so unfortunate that wendy williams is dealing with all that she is dealing with um and as she put it no money um and she kept talking about this podcast and and it's like the podcast is not happening wendy i don't know something's not right did sherry shepherd talk about it today i don't know i didn't want sherry shepherd maybe she did talk about it but i see that sherry shepherd seems like she is making it an effort to not speak negatively about wendy but I, I know that if wendy passed away lord forbid the show would do an entire bid about her but when it comes down to news and bad news about wendy um they just sherry steers clear from from giving any of you know giving any commentary on news um or information regarding wendy williams which i think is a, a great look i think it's a great look for them not to mention wendy unless it's um giving sentiments to wendy and keeping it short and quick and move on do not dwell because then people begin to reminisce and you know you're not wendy ah oh, i forgot about wendy uh sherry's not wendy damn how fun was her you know so we're trying to brainwash people into believing that you're funny and you're great and you're great tv when sherry is just sometimes just so boring and not funny um i don't know at Kim and Sherry Shelf in the morning. Anyway. So my dream of having my own talk show finally came true. And to help me out, I call my best friend, Kim Whitley. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Hi. And guess what? what? There are a few things you need for a successful talk show. And, and why don't you have a bra on? Where's your bra? I was rushing. First of all, new titties. First of all, let me <laughs> say this. Can you see it? When I do like this, they go up. <laughs> there they go. But I have to go because I have a talk show. So I have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, but you know what? That's all right. I'm going to get that little skirt from you. I already got your ring. Uh, that is my ring. Yep. yep. But you can't what do nothing. You... you in New York. You can't do nothing. Go on with your talk show. Yep. Download Kim on Audible. Bye, Shannon. I'll talk to you later on, girl. I'm going to kill that girl. I'm going to kill that girl. I want to say there have been all of these crazy stories online about me replacing Wendy. And I am here to tell you that that is not true because no one can replace the queen. Nobody. And trust me, I am not trying to at all. It is Wendy's place to share her story with you. But I do want to give the queen her, her, her props and her flowers because Wendy had a legendary career in radio. And this show was specifically crafted for her. No one can do this format but Wendy. When you talk about the... Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified every time we go live. Post a video or post a post. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Also, check out our podcast everywhere podcast can be heard i heard radio spotify apple podcast google podcast and more just search the urban binge radio wherever you prefer to hear your podcast follow us on all social media twitter instagram facebook plus more at the urban binge
Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to both our channels at Rebel TV and at Rebel TV 2 for more exciting reviews, fun vlogs, short films, and more.